Alright, so in this video we are going to show you how to use the J slider right to control the color of the text red, green and blue. Okay, so and you need to do both J slider and J scroll into two separate programs for this one. Okay, because show you how to use J slider and J scroll All right. So first, is say write a program that use a use scroll bars to select the foreground color of a label. Right. So you can adjust this, and the foreground color of the text is going to change based on your adjustments. Right. We need to create three horizontal scroll bars. Right. So this one pretty much just tell you to do a scroll bar first, and then the next one is let's say you have to create slider two. Okay, two programs. And use for selecting colors red, right, green and blue. Use the scroll bars. Scroll bar is just like this, these are scroll bars, right? Slider is just look like that. Okay, with a triangle tips, right? Now use a title border on the panel that hold the scroll bar. Okay, so we you see that? This is the title border with a title to hold the scroll bar in place. All right, so first create a class name scroll bar demo extends the frame. Create user interface using J panel, J label, and J scroll bar. All right, so let's do that. We're gonna create a new project name. J scroll bar okay control okay color control <clears throat> all right so now after that we're going to create a class new class okay J so what is a class name scroll bar demo right scroll bar demo and extends J frame so it's become a frame right now let's put everything inside a constructor here all right so we need to use J panel, J label, and J scroll bar, right? So let's create them here. Private J panel, panel, private J label, label. So we control the label color very much. And then private J scroll bar, right? Scroll bar. All right, we need to import them. And they were talking about title border on the panel that hold a scroll bar. And they have the sample code for you. You can do the panel set border, right? New compound border, new title border, choose colors, right? New empty border. So this is just a partial code that we can use. So first we going to instantiate the J panel equals to new J panel and then we're going to use that code right set border import compound border pretty much that the border that we try to use here and this is just do the title border that's the one set the text okay and compile border just need to to have two parameters. Okay, so we just import them. <clears throat> now, let's set the create the label, right? Equals to new J label and the text is show colors. So it's just say show colors. That's the label text, right? And then 
we need to put it right there, right? So if you want, you can have the parent panel put that on the north and put this to the south, right? So let's create another panel. So pretty much just a display panel. So we're going to add them, right? This play panel equals to new J panel. Okay. So now we're going to need to add the panel. Panel, we need to create scroll bar first and add them to this panel. Okay. Now, how many scroll bar we have? Three, right? So let's just say scroll bar right, right and scroll bar green and scroll bar blue I mean if you want to use an array you can do that too right scroll bar right equals to new j scroll bar All right, same, right? <coughs> if you use an array, then you just use a loop at this point, like I show you it in the button. Okay. Now we have scroll bar that we're going to add to the panel. So add the scroll bar rate. Right, let's do the first one. I think it's red, green, and blue, right? So in that order, right. So we add them. Now we just need to add a panel to the display panel, right? Add what do we need to add? Add the label first. Now we need to set the border layout, right? Set layout, new border layout. Then we can add the label to the north, to north, north. <coughs> okay. Same. We gonna add the panel, display panel. We gonna add the panel, and this panel is gonna go to center, just like when we do the ATM one, right? from the previous videos. So of course frame we need to do make it set visible, right? To true. And then <coughs> if you want to do pack, if you don't want to do the set dimension, we can do pack. And we can do uh set default right close Operation Okay. Um all right, and then J frame dot exit on close, right? Now we going to instantiate this in the driver class. So let's create the scroll bar driver with the main and just instantiate the new scroll bar demo to see what we get. But of course uh, we need to learn how to use scroll bar to set the size and so on. Like, But at this point we just want to see what we get first. 
seem like we're not getting anything let's see because I never add to the frame right so I need to add the display panel to the frame too that lab code that we forget that's why I like to check first there you go we get something right but now that one these are vertical by default if you want to set horizontal you can do so because this also has the method those are classes dot set okay <coughs> set orientation we want what horizontal day scroll bar dot because that's the part of the constants horizontal all right, so we change it to horizontal now. All right, so let's see if this works. Mm, I think I already need it. Let's just do play. Okay, now we need to do. It's just this sequence because of the layout, right? So if we want it to go into bottom we can use layout to help too so if I set the layout to my panel so panel dot set layout we can do border layout again right so red can go to north green is uh, center and blue to south so when I do add, so this is the place where I'm going to do north, center, and south. Okay. Hmm, when we do that, it looks like that, huh? Maybe border layout is not a good one. Yeah, let's use grid layout. Now, there are many layout that you can look at. Okay. So, three rows, one column. then you don't need to do that one and then you can do actually spacing between that so that's grid layout huh okay so so we just look at the java doc for the j scober so beside set the orientation you can set the values extends min and max. Okay, what are those? So the values let me set to ten extends ten and min zero max two hundred fifty five because we have the values between zero to two hundred fifty five, right? For the red, green, and blue, right? So the constructors are here. Uh, where's the constructor? Instead of set orientations, you can actually use that in right away through the constructor too. So according to the constructor, so I'm going to say 10, 10, and 0, and 255, right? I don't need that anymore. So it's going to be the same for the rest. Oh, I already do that through the constructor for the rest, which is good. 